I want to thank uh, Mayor Giles and thank one of my best friends here, uh, dear to my heart, is Mayor Lane. He, anytime I ask him to do anything, he's always been there for me. He's one of the best guys I've met since I've lived in Arizona. Uh, also, I want to take, thank uh, Congressman Ruben Gallego. He's always been there. I serve on this council. So I really, I really appreciate everybody being here. And, uh, and also, one of the people I really want to thank is a couple gentlemen here is Stephen Shadag, Rick, Carly. Uh, they've all been here for me from the beginning. Uh, Rick's moved on to bigger and better things, but he used to be Senator McCain's chief of staff. And I also want to give a big shout out to Senator McCain. Uh, we could just give him a round of applause because he was one of the people who really got this thing going. God bless you, AP, for putting this together. This is, this is such a great idea to match veterans with employers and to help them uh, find jobs. Let me talk just a little bit about uh, what ASU is doing with veterans. We serve 7,200 veterans at ASU. I'm David Schweikert, Arizona 6th Congressional District. Um, look, this is one of those events that's really important to the community. But we're in a really interesting time data-wise. Um, with unemployment being where it's at, I think it's gonna give a lot of our community the opportunity to focus on veterans that actually have um, special work requirements and a special opportunity for the business community to step up and help those individuals. I'm Wanda Wright, and I am the director for the Arizona Department of Veterans Services. And I'm here today at the Arizona Breakfast to advocate for veterans, veteran students, and just really anyone who's looking for a career. We are trying to work out uh, uh, some initiatives to support veteran entrepreneurs, as well as veterans who are looking for that great job that they will fit. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Debbie Lesko, and I'm here to tell you what a great event this is here in Arizona because it's combining employers together with veterans that need a job and a career. What a great event, what a great second anniversary of this great organization. I'm so proud to be involved in it. Hi, I'm retired Air Force Colonel Martha McSally, also a representative from Congressional District 2, and I am here to support our veterans. I served 26 years in uniform. I know firsthand what it's like to then transition to civilian life and the challenges that our veterans have. They are, these are American heroes, and it's great to see uh, organizations like this that are coming to surround our veterans to help them find careers, open businesses, and continue to thrive in our community and make a difference. So really excited about it, and it's really an honor to be here today. conference, we'll hold, uh, one of the mornings, we'll hold our breakfast for the Million Dollar Circle of Excellence. We will induct those companies that are also spending uh, with veteran-owned firms. And so we're, we're excited to be part of that solution. I would submit for your consideration that the top performing companies in Arizona, in the world, their CEOs talk about it as their supply chain will reflect their customer base. Gonzalo de la Malena, president of the Arizona Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and operator of the Phoenix MBDA Center. We're excited to be part of Here Arizona this year, bringing our resources and our community together in supporting women, minority, and veteran-owned businesses. The Chamber has a long history of supporting diverse communities and this is a perfect addition to our strategy.